Greetings and God's peace be with you. My name is Christopher Lynn Payne and I'm one of the co-rectors at St. Francis Episcopal Parish and Community Center. As you likely know, yesterday was Independence Day, a day where, um, where this nation celebrates its independence from, uh, from England, from Great Britain. And um, uh, it's a day where there are all sorts of celebrations the town in which I live in, Catonsville, is one where um, people start setting out their chairs for the parade well over a month before the, um, the parade actually occurs. So the Main Street, Frederick Road in Catonsville is full of chairs and streamers, ropes blocking off the area. It is, it's quite an event. Um, it can be kind of overwhelming when you when you see the zeal that people have. Different points in my life, like I, uh, you know, I've had a, a wide variety of feelings about how I see our approach to that. And I know there were points when I really enjoyed going out to the fireworks and, um, you know, and enjoyed being at the parade and time with family and friends for cookouts. You know, patriotism, uh, is a complicated thing as a person of faith. Um, the, web, the, the wedding of, uh, of love of country and God in ways um, that I see that occurring uh, in the United States of America, there's so much about it that I feel like is, is really problematic. Um, as a person of faith, as a follower of Jesus, as a priest in the Episcopal Church, um, as a citizen of this country. Uh, there are so many things that I give thanks for, um, so many privileges and rights that I enjoy. Uh, and, um, and there's a lot that I really struggle with too. Um, I think regardless of what you believe uh, in terms of your faith persuasion or your um, your partisan politics, like, you know, it's, it's, it's a struggle as you think through uh, all aspects of our common lives together and you look for ways of integrating yourself. But when I, uh, when I spend time in the scriptures and particularly try to pattern my life after Jesus, like, it's, it's clear that there were so many ways that, um, that that who he was and what he was called to do was really in opposition to the established order of the world in his time. That he entered into the brokenness of, uh, of the world uh, in order to, to show us a new way of being, a way of love, a way of justice. Uh, and the humble way in which he did that uh, is something that we continue to wrestle with as people who seek to follow Jesus. Um, I do not in any way pretend to understand in a full way what that means, uh, even for myself, yet alone you. And, um, and I'm glad to be uh, a part of a, a tradition as an Episcopal uh, priest and um, as an Episcopalian that, that really understands the place of reason and, and recognition of our tradition and history in, in how we read scripture and how we experience God, how we connect with others, how we share the gifts that we've been given. I um, was so struck the other day as I was um, uh, on social media um, and, you know, I, I don't spend a whole lot of time on there, um, but you know, I, I notice more and more the ads, the targeted ads that were sent, and I, I pay very little attention to it, but this one really struck me. It's an Independence Day sale for only $177.60. It says live free, and there's red, white, and blue. And then, um, then it says below, it says resist tyranny, no king but Christ. Uh, and then it says unrestricted combat. And there's a, 
picture here of a man in full body armor. Full body armor. When I think about the armor of Christ that the Apostle Paul talked about, um, put on, putting on the armor of Christ, um, this was not what he was talking about. When I think about the terrible ways in which people conflate um, things like liberation and freedom and they um, they entangle violence in that uh, to see that image of uh, of someone in full body armor um, references to Christ and tyranny um, it's I can't even say that that's a confusing message. I, I um, I'm appalled by it. Um, it makes me sad. It makes me angry. Um, I don't understand how someone could think that that is the way of Jesus. The Apostle Paul, as he was writing to the church in Ephesus, um, referred to this whole armor of God. Finally, be strong in the Lord and in the strength of his power. Put on the whole armor of God so that you may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. For our struggle is not against enemies of blood and flesh, but against the rulers, against the authorities, against the cosmic powers of this present darkness against the spiritual forces of evil in the heavenly places. Therefore, take up the whole armor of God so that you may be able to withstand on that evil day and having done everything to stand firm. Stand therefore and fasten the belt of truth around your waist and put on the breastplate of righteousness. The shoes for your feet put on whatever will make you ready to proclaim the gospel of peace. With all these, take the shield of faith with which you will be able to quench all the flaming arrows of the evil one. Take the helmet of salvation and the sword of the Spirit, which is the word of God. Pray in the Spirit at all times in every prayer and supplication. To that end, keep alert and always persevere in supplication for all the saints. Pray also for me so that when I speak, a message may be given to me to make known with boldness the mystery of the gospel for which I am an ambassador in chains. Pray that I may declare it boldly as I must speak. These diabolical messages um, that sow seeds of division, that invite us to be afraid of one another, to hate one another, to feel like we need to take up arms against one another. Um, they are antithetical to the gospel of Jesus Christ. This God that loved us so much that God would enter into our human struggle, into the mess of the world, making God vulnerable in the form of a baby, a child that would grow into a man that would gather disciples around him that would be betrayed by them that would be tortured would lay down his life and that would rise again to show us his followers a different way a way of love and of peace and of justice and of humility. So, as we ponder the messages that are targeted at us, as we ponder um, what the gospel means in our lives and the choices that we have to make every day, it's a heavy burden. It's challenging to figure it all out. But the Spirit guiding us, gathered in the body of Christ, present in the parish and community center that we are a part of at St. Francis, 
I trust that God will continue to guide us. Um, but on this day, this day after the day in which we celebrate independence and all its complexity and all the brokenness of this world that we live in and this country that we're a part of, amidst all the privileges that we enjoy, what we choose to do with our life, how we choose to follow Jesus, how um, we choose to put on the armor of light, but on the armor of love, to reach out um, in powerful acts of sacrifice that, um, that show people that God is with us, with us still and loves us. Thanks for listening, and uh, may Christ's peace be with you.